First, John McCain up in this cat fight. Uh, he's going to go ahead and take a swing at the people who brought us this dead end strategy of shutting the government down and questioning the debt ceiling. We started this on a fool's errand, uh, convincing so many millions of Americans and our supporters that we could defund Obamacare, which obviously wouldn't happen until we have 67 Republican senators to override a presidential veto. So we started out on a fool's errand. Who's to blame for that fool's errand? Well, I think uh, the people that convinced uh, uh, so many millions of Americans, Tea Partiers we're sp specifically talking about, that there was some way we could defund Obamacare. We can't. And the 2012 election was, was to, at least in my campaigning, and I know Mitt Romney's, was repeal and replace Obamacare. It didn't happen. I fought against Obamacare on the floor of the Senate for 25 days. So uh, it wasn't going to happen, and I think that the American people should not, or a lot of Americans should not have been told that it was possible. Wow, a fool's errand. All right, we're not done yet. Now, uh, Ron Johnson, uh, who, by the way, was a Tea Party Republican in Wisconsin, uh, now apparently is too moderate for the Tea Party, is on with Mark Levine on his radio show. He made the mistake of going on that program. And they get into another catfight. You know, one thing we have to agree on, this strategy has caused a huge division in the conservative ranks. Where You know, you've got... No, it hasn't. You know, you, you, you've got you... <laughs> Totally opposed to Charles Krauthammer, and maybe you don't like Charles Krauthammer. He's no, I like him a lot. It's not personal, but I, I'm not. You know, Mark, I'm not questioning whether you're conservative enough because you don't agree with, you know, a different strategy. I asked and you again, what I, your strategy I, 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 is. I'm still asking. I'm still asking. How does this? How does this particular strategy at this point in time result in defunding? And that's the question. I don't know. You I, guys I surrendered. I, ha I haven't seen how. How do you get five Democrat senators? To vote for it. To me, I, I've, to, to uh, Senator, me hold on now. Is, is a hold, hold, message where we're really Senator, concentrating Senator, on talking about how harmful Obama Senator, is to convince the Democrats to do it. You need a unified message when over 50 percent of the American people already despise Obamacare. What what kind of, what are you talking about? Yeah, but but Mark, we, there, it's obviously not enough of a supermajority to put pressure on five. Sure, there are. It's just that the it's just that the left. Excuse me, they my turn. It's vote. just that the left doesn't give a damn about what the American people think. And the problem is, if you don't put enough pressure on two or three or four of these Democrat senators, and, several and of whom, hold on now, my turn, several of whom are up for re-election, and you guys, it, the conservatives aren't divided. We have a ruling elite in Washington who is going to allow Obamacare to be put in place. He said, if you notice, over 50% of Americans, which, by the way, is barely a majority, despise Obamacare. No, they never said that in the polls. They didn't say despise. They said they're not supportive of Obamacare. Barely over half. But you know what? Certainly more than half voted for President Obama to become President of the United States. And you want to talk about despise and the American people later. You just said, the American people! You fraud. You fake, charlatan, so-called pseudo-intellectual. Hey, you know, he always has that voice like he's a professor or something. Oh, I know everything. The American people. Over 70% say your dumb-ass shutdown strategy is a total debacle. How do you like that? You want to color things? Okay, they didn't say debacle in the poll, but I can play the same game. They said it was a bad idea. Over 70%. The American people have spoken, Mark Levine. What's wrong with you? But nonetheless, I do enjoy this Republican catfight. They don't give a damn what the American people say, Mark Levine says. God, that guy's unbearable. All right, uh, by the way, speaking of unbearable, Eric Erickson, who has just, the mainstream media, mainly CNN, decided that he was a legitimate person. About seven people follow Eric Erickson. He uh, works at this tiny little blog called Red State that nobody actually reads. Uh, but everybody's like, oh, what do the conservatives think? Let's ask Eric Erickson, right? So he says, oh, the Republicans are flirting with disaster here because there might be a real third party movement if they keep going in this direction and don't listen to the seven guys on my website. 